Hi, welcome to the first edition of uh, Workflow Wednesdays, uh, where each week we will pick a specific business use case that involves processes that are extremely time consuming, processes that are inaccurate or error prone when done at scale, or processes that are simply a big pain in the rear to do manually. And we will show you how you can automate that very same business process or workflow uh, using nanonets. So let's get started. This week, we look at the process of lease abstraction or summarizing commercial leases for real estate workflows and figure out how to automate this entire process. So who is this demo for? Uh, who will find this most relevant or helpful? This would be ideal for folks in the IT team, uh, data strategy team or automation teams at real estate advisory firms or large property management companies. Uh, both deal with large portfolios of real estate properties and their associated leases. So this would really be uh, relevant for them. Uh, this might also be relevant for lease management software providers uh, who might be looking to improve their own offering or are looking for a white label solution to offer to their own clients. Um, finally, this can just be relevant to anyone looking to automate real estate workflows involving uh, large volumes of uh, commercial leases. So what will you take away from this demo? You learn how nanonets can help with collecting or ingesting these lease documents that come in via email or are saved in a hot folder or come in via various other sources. Uh, you'll also learn how nanonets can help capture key data points from these lease documents. And finally, you'll learn how to feed that captured data or sync that captured data into an ERP of your choice, uh, such as Yardi or Buildium, which are common among property management workflows, or something even more specific like Salesforce, for example, uh, to eventually create or update uh, relevant entries in that ERP uh, or new records, for example. So let's get started. So here we are on Nanonet's uh, workflow builder platform. Uh, step one, let's define where we will pull these uh, lease documents from. And we have a couple of options here. Um, you can either pull it from a hot folder on Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, or any other cloud stored service, or import directly from a centralized email or even pull it via API from your own app or any external service. And there are a couple of other options as well. So step two is to go ahead and extract data or capture data from uh, the lease document using Nanonet's AI extractor. So let's check that out. So I've gone ahead and entered a few key data points that I want extracted from the lease document. So let's upload a sample lease document and see if the extractor can uh, pick those data points. And that's pretty much it. The extractor has pulled out the information I requested, tenant, security deposit, termination date, commencement date, and landlord. If I need anything else, all I need to do is just go in and add that piece of information and the extractor pulls that out as well. For example, I can just go ahead and add uh, tenant address. and landlord address or any other uh, data field that I want extracted. And that's pretty much it. So let's go on to the next step.
So now that you have your extracted data, the data actions workflow step allows you to clean up and refine the data further. So let's look at a few examples of what we can do with the data actions. Uh, typical lookup uh, functions, uh, formatting functions. For example, if your leases um, alternate between the use of the term street or the um, abbreviation ST in, the, in addresses, you can try and find and replace um, the version that you'd like to stick to, to um, ensure there's some consistency in your records. Uh, you can also choose to keep the one instance of various data pieces that get extracted. So yeah, there's quite a lot of other um, data actions that you can uh, take. The lookup um, data actions allow you to check for a particular record or uh, entry in your ERP. For example, if a particular property already exists in your ERP, you would prefer updating the record instead of creating uh, a duplicate record. So that's as far as the data actions step is concerned. You can also tweak how the final results will look like, set up approval rules uh, or validations, assign reviewers if needed, and even set up notifications if that's required. Finally, this is the most important step. Uh, set up the export step to uh, send the data to where you need to send it to. And here are the options. In the case of lease abstraction, uh, you can either send it to directly to Yadi if that's your ERP of choice. We natively offer an out-of-box integration with Yadi or you could also send it to Salesforce if that's um, your preferred CRM and uh, create objects in Salesforce directly or update records there directly or integrate via API with pretty much any other uh, software that has an open API. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or suggestions around this um, lease abstraction use case or any similar real estate workflows, do drop a comment or speak to us. We'd love to chat um, and help you. See you next week with another use case. Bye.